Good morning, guys. I hope we're all sparkly. I'm not going to lie. I am looking forward to the weekend. It's been a very heavy week. But when the going gets tough, yeah, suck it up, buttercup. Get on with it. Um, what should we talk about today? Uh, a common question I get asked is... When am I going to notice the difference? You started testosterone, so let's fucking go. It's a difficult one to answer because what we are aspiring to achieve is simply healthy male androgen levels within normal physiological parameters. So are you supposed to feel anything? Well, the answer to that question is, if you feel normal, no. If you feel abnormal, hopefully normalizing your hormones will cause a positive response. But does it always? Well, when guys present to the clinic, it can be a severe as being suicidal, it can be as trivial as wanting to get your leg over. <laughs> you still need to have a confirmed deficiency. So that's taking into consideration both the qualitative symptoms and the quantitative markers and making sure that you've addressed lifestyle, diet and exercise before committing to something that is a lifelong therapy. It costs and it's a lot of time and commitment. If you can normalize your melandrin levels without the need for TRT, do it. If your thyroid is slightly skewy, sort that out. Taking a tablet is far more simple and less involved than pinning, having regular bloods. The journey, it's all about the journey. The journey to hormone optimization can be a rocky road. Some guys, we hit the nail on the head straight away. These guys tend to be super healthy prior to starting TRT, but that missing link is low testosterone. I talk about this all the time. Lifestyle, diet and exercise. All of those three foundations need to be in check for you to be able to appreciate normal male androgen levels. Your perspective needs to be glass half full, not glass half empty. If you tend to anxiety, low mood and depersonalization, seeing the wood for the trees can be quite difficult. So whilst we can optimize your melandrin profile, still it's your conscious decision to say that glass is half full, not that glass is half empty. Because the negativity that has just become deeply ingrained in your psychology needs to shift. And the only person that can do that is guess who? You. So I can provide you with the support to give you healthy melandrin levels. And interestingly, whilst your appreciation is unique, your subjective appreciation is unique of your individual personal circumstances, I've seen it all before, numerous, numerous times. So I can sit in front of you and go, I know exactly where you are on your journey. It doesn't necessarily make it easier for you but hopefully I can give you the right level of support that you need to take that very necessary step forwards on your journey. So we have the two extremes. We have the guy that wants to get his leg over with a confirmed deficiency and the suicidal guy who has a confirmed deficiency. Do his quantitative numbers mean anything? Not really. As we've just said, it's the combination of qualitative and quantitative numbers that we need to 
look at to establish the diagnosis, but it is your subjective appreciation that makes the difference. Now, interestingly, my guy that wanted to get his leg over, he's had a massive transformation. He is now a lean, mean fighting machine. He still had the negative symptoms that the guy with suicidal thoughts had, but not to the same degree. So when we think about the symptoms of low testosterone, low mood, anxiety, depersonalization, fatigue, low libido, erectile dysfunction, blah, 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 blah. It is your subjective appreciation. So when we're talking about reversing these negative symptoms, it is in part normalization of your levels, but it's also you. You have to put the hard work in. One of my guys yesterday thanked me, said it's all down to you. It's not down to me at all. All I've done is normalize your levels and hopefully provided you with the necessary support. But you've done the hard work. So congratulations. Get on it like a car bonnet. Continue to move forwards. Continue to strive to be better. So we have goals, we set goals, we achieve those goals, we achieve, the, we achieve the destination. What next? Another goal, another goal. After that, another goal. So it is about the journey, not the destination. I am now optimized. When you fully appreciate what that means, you'll realize that it's hard work and it's hard work every single motherfucking day. And it is your choice as to whether you accept the challenge or you sit there. Don't sit there. Get on it. So irrespective of your qualitative symptoms, it is down to you to make that decision. When people start TRT, as I said, when am I going to feel better? Well, purely from a pharmacological perspective, the HCG takes around 11 days to stabilize. Does that mean you feel the true effects of HCG after 11 days? No, because what's it all about? Balance and stability. Then the testosterone. That takes between four and eight weeks to become stable. Does that mean you're now balanced after eight weeks? The HCG stable, now the testosterone stable. No, because it's all about what? Balance and stability. To feel the true effects of normal male andron levels, your levels have to be what? Stable. And they have to be stable for a period of time. Lots of guys notice a positive experience when they change their protocols. When testosterone rises, guess what happens? You have a release of dopamine and we like dopamine. Dopamine is the pleasure chemical. So we've spoken about this before. Testosterone, estradiol and DHT are foundation hormones and they are there to help you strive, achieve the reward hormones. And one of those hormones is dopamine. So you will feel a qualitative improvement when you start TRT. And that's primarily because you are going to have an increase in dopamine, the pleasure chemical. Also, you finally got somebody to listen to you and support you. So there will be an element of placebo. Should you disregard that placebo? No, hell, enjoy it. Appreciate it because consciousness. <laughs> uh, no, it's, um, you know, once your levels are stable, there is then a titration process to achieve true stability. And what is that? A healthy ratio of testosterone to estrogen to DHT. And once you're there, is it the destination? Is it game over? No, because physiology changes. It adapts to the circumstances and situation. So what are you gonna do with this newfound healthy testosterone level. 
hopefully what you're going to do is train, eat right, sleep right, reduce stress, do all the things that you should be doing. So any change that you make should be sustainable. So I have a marathon runner. He came in and said, Doc, I'm feeling a little bit flat. So what's changed? Well, I'm now running ultra marathons. Okay, well, I can kind of guess what the problem is. Well, my lifestyle's good. I'm eating right. Yeah, but you're on TRT. Yeah, well, let's remember this is essentially a fixed dose response. You were perfectly balanced and happy when you were running marathons. But now your utilization has increased, you're not quite so happy. Why? Because you're using more testosterone. Now, conversely, if you were super active with healthy male androgen levels and you then decided, screw that, I'm going to sit and Netflix and chill. What's going to happen? Your testosterone levels are going to rise because you are no longer utilizing that testosterone for what? Growth and repair. Repairing from the exercise alertness that happens during the day. Remember, catabolism is predominantly in the day and nighttime. You rest, recover, grow, repair, prepare for the next day. To what? Get on it like a car bonnet the next day and the next day and the next day and the next day. So your body has a wonderful system called the hypopituitary gonadal axis. It's a self-regulating system that can respond to external stimuli, saber-toothed tiger, hunting, Raquel Welsh in a leather bikini, and we are determined to distort it. It has the capacity to adjust to internal changes. This catabolism, the activity that occurs throughout the day. It is a wonderful system that we are determined to screw up. So when you go on testosterone replacement therapy, what should you do? Number one, trust the process appreciate the process and understand it's what it's all about balance stability and sustainability